Okay, we're here with Louise Rowe, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her fashion line that's coming out. And it's, it is Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. So in honor of that, we wanted to talk to her about that. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your line? Yeah, it is um, for fall winter, and I wanted to bring color into winter wardrobes that are always a little bit too black and brown and drab, you know. So um, I, I start with the basics that would um, also help flatter people's shapes because a lot of women wear things just because they might be trendy or see a celebrity in them, but it doesn't actually suit their body shape. So, for example, um, I did a couple of trench coats, which I think is like a staple in every chick's wardrobe. You yeah. know, it's kind of that thing you throw on when you mm. want to look chic and you don't know what else to wear. Exactly. Um, a bright red dress like this, which is mm. kind of stretchy. There's mm. ruching across the tummy mm. to hide those bits that we don't like, the wobbly bits. <laughs> um, and then I did a scarf, which I love these colors because mm. I think um, it's quite 1970s, which mm. I'm obsessed with, but that's also a big trend this season. Yeah. So um, mustards and purples and olive greens. Mm -hmm. I just think it's an easy accessory to throw on a big mm -hmm. scarf and not only feel cozy, but you've added that pop of color to your, to your outfit. Right, definitely. I think it's really beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I know that you've been on Eve, uh, have been on a lot of different shows. Does that help your line grow by being on these uh, different shows? Are you able to promote it in any sort of way? Hopefully. I mean, I can always wear it. Um, I'm not one of those people that wants to sort of shove it down people's yeah. throats, though I think if people like it, they will want to buy it. Mm -hmm. um, but but I can also help people know that it's there, you know, and, and direct them to HSN. So, um, so yeah, I guess so, doing, doing yeah. other TV stuff mm -hmm. like Nate Berkus this morning and all that stuff helps, helps with the line. Yeah. Well, that, uh, you were also on uh, MTV's The City. How did that come about to do that? Um, well, I was friends with Adam Develo, who's the, the guy that sort of founded it. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's just really cool, quite laid back. And, and I was going to New York for Fashion Week. And he said, oh, you know, we should just do some filming. I like your style. And I think if you're going to be there. Yeah. And it just ended up that I was in more and more episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and I still am friends with a lot of the girls. You know, they're lovely. Oh, really? So it, so would you say that show is a reality? Like, really yeah, reality? Yeah, I mean, you know, all those shows, um, everyone, you, you have to set up a scene in the sense that if you're going to film in a restaurant you need to call them ahead and say can we film in your restaurant so so it's set up to that degree they don't literally just walk down the street and with a camera following them um, but I think that you know people like Erin um, Kaplan and Josie work really hard in the mm -hmm. fashion industry and are really well respected for mm -hmm. the jobs they do right. so that's like what you see is what you get exactly. you have any great plans for fashion week um, sleep as much as I can because then you never get to do that and um, no I'm gonna I'm gonna be super busy going to lots of shows and events and hopefully some after parties and um, I think tomorrow morning BCBG is my first one so kicking off with a good one that's great and are you gonna be attending fashion night out as well definitely I am hosting fashion night out for shop bop which is in the meatpacking district, oh. um, right outside Soho House. So we have like this tent lounge thing built, which I really hope doesn't get yeah. soaked in the rain. But I'll be interviewing about 20 different designers who are all sold on ShopBop. It's going to be fun. Oh, sounds amazing. So can we maybe expect to see you at the next Fashion Week, your, your line? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> well, fingers crossed. That would be cool. Um, we'll see, bit by bit. But I have actually already um, got my spring uh, line in, in motion, so it's looking good. That's great. And so besides the line, do you have any other upcoming projects, any shows you're working on? I've just wrapped the second season of Plain Jane, the makeover show that I host, and we uh, filmed all over um, Europe. It was incredible. Um, and I did the VMAs for MTV International, did all the red carpet and stuff. So I've been keeping busy, which is good. And I'm off to London soon for some promo of the show. So to end the show on a good note, we're going to show you Louise's lookbook from the fall, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for Thank doing you. this interview and taking the time out of your day to do this. Pleasure.